Hello and welcome to Balance with Babs. My name is Babs. Today's yoga flow is a risk-free practice to improve our balance. So we'll talk about some balance strategies and please check out the video linked at the end of this one to learn a little bit more. So get into something comfortable and come and meet me on your mat. So feel free to add a little blanket or a bolster underneath your bottom to get your hips a little bit elevated. So we're going to just spend a few moments in this cross-legged position. Close your eyes. And then we're going to start by placing both hands to the center of our being. So our center of gravity right near the belly button. So maybe covering the hands on top of the navel, close your eyes, relax the shoulders down, and then sit up nice and tall, grow tall with the spine. And then feel this area move, feel the breath rising and falling. So through this practice, we'll challenge ourselves, we'll challenge our balance, improve the three strategies, our ankle, our hip, and our stepping strategy. But most importantly, let's focus and keep our focus right here on the solar plexus chakra, our core, what holds us together, what keeps us, us stable. Let's take five more slow breaths here just to become present into today's practice. And then blink open the eyes. Let's reach our arms up. Stretch the arms up. And then exhale, hands come down to heart center. And we're going to make our way onto our backs. So as slowly as you can, just start to bring yourself down onto your mat. And then when you arrive, extend the legs long, arms come by your sides, palms facing up. And then think about drawing the shoulder blades back towards one another, so broadening through the collarbones, through the chest here. The forearms, the elbows just resting on the mat, the backs of it, the hands resting, the heels, the hips. And then maybe tuck the chin in slightly so you elongate that cervical spine. And then take five breaths here. Feeling your body heavy, supported on the ground. One more breath in, inside out, and then reach the arms up overhead, stretch the arms really nice and long, point the toes so you're making the longest line of energy of your body you ever have created. So stretch the fingers, point the toes, take a big breath in. Feel the side body expanding, and then exhale, draw the knees into the chest, and we're gonna begin some just rock and roll side to side. So we'll start the practice with some core work, getting our muscles ready, and then we'll flow through a wrist-free warrior sequence, and then we'll make our way back down. So just enjoy this here, give it your all, and just know that you're doing something so good for your body. Let's extend those legs up towards the sky. 
helping to improve that lymphatic drainage gravity, pulling the fluid down the legs. Let's pump the feet a few times. So inhale, point the toes up. Exhale, bring the toes back. Inhale, exhale. Notice all the little muscles in the top of the foot. Notice the strength of the ankle as you pull the toes back. And then just gently let's roll the ankles around. So as you can see, the ankle can move in any direction. So this is our first strategy of maintaining balance is using recruiting all these little muscles to help us. So let's stretch them, let's move them, and let's send some good energy and love towards the feet. And then maybe scrunch the toes and then open up. Good, and then nice strong legs. Imagine you're stamping the ceiling. So your feet onto the ceiling, toes flexed back slightly. Always an option to bend the knees. And then glue the low back into the mat. So engage the low abdomen by really pushing, hugging in so that there's no space behind your back. So you can already feel the, the low abdomen firing up. And then place your hands by your sides and then draw the knees, bend them slightly so that they're now in a 90 degree angle. And then inhale to straighten the legs up. Exhale, bend the knees, keeping the low back really nice and flush towards the ground. So pumping the legs a few times I know it's a simple movement, but really try to control it. Try to go nice and slow. Two more times, breath in, breath out, breath in, breath out. Keep the left leg where it is and then inhale straight and the right leg up, so now alternating. Breath in, and then exhale to switch. Moving nice and slow in control. Keep an awareness on that low abdomen. Really good for this knee pumping. As you come down, you're helping to drain out the behind the knee lymph nodes, getting everything to move. And then straighten both legs up towards the sky. And then we're gonna take our hands, reach them up towards the sky, and then lift our head and our chest up to maybe grab for the feet or touch the outsides of the, of the thighs or the calves. Lifting up here, breath in. And then exhale, you're gonna slowly lower the legs towards the mat as you bring the arms, biceps by the ears into like a low boat here. And then inhale or exhale coming back up. So inhale to lengthen. Exhale, draw everything back up. Hands come towards the calves or feet. Three more, breath in to elongate and breath out. Really listen to yourself. Breathe here. Last one. Breath in. Breath out. Stay here with the head and the chest lifted. Rely on that low belly to keep you up. Breath in. And then exhale, knees into the chest, let the head and the neck relax, rocking side to side. Maybe the gaze goes side to side, just releasing any tension in the upper body. Slow breath in, slow breath out. And then we'll slowly extend the legs back up to the sky, hug the low belly in down towards the mat. Release the arms up towards the sky again, and then palms come together, and then we're gonna draw the palms over towards that left thigh, left outer thigh, as the right leg slowly comes down towards the mat. Inhale, everything lifts back up. Exhale, hands over towards outside of right thigh. Inhale, lift. Exhale. 
Inhale, twist, you got it. Breath in to lift. Breath out to twist. One more time each side. And then stay here, palms are together, reach the fingertips up towards the sky for five little pulses. So one, two, three, four, five, knees into the chest, relax the upper body down, take a breath in, side out, <sighs> rock and roll, side to side. And then plant the feet down, heels in towards the bottom, coming into our bridge pose. Feet hip distance apart, upper body relaxed down. And then we're gonna place the hand down, palms down, no pressure on the wrist, just place them there. And then inhale, push into the feet as you lift the hips up towards the sky. Slow breath in and out we're staying here for three more breaths so use the inhale to lengthen up push through the feet engage the thighs the glutes breath in and out breath in and out one more breath in lift up as high as you can and then slowly melt the spine all the way down. And now we're gonna take this again, but breath to movement with our arms. So inhale as the hips lift, the arms lift up overhead. And then exhale, everything melts down, but then as you reach the end of that exhale, lift the arms up, maybe reach the arms forward. And then inhale, everything lifts up. Hips lift, arms reach behind you. And then exhale on the last little bit of exhale, you find this little crunch. Three more. And then relaxing down, hands to the low abdomen breath in and out and then walk the feet mat distance and we're just going to find some gentle windshield wipering of the knees so knees fall one way and then the other the gaze looks over one shoulder and then the other And then back to center. We're going to lift our legs back up one more time into that 90 degree angle. And then we're gonna lift our head and our chest up. So we're gonna stay here for a moment. Breath in, really feel the strength pulling you forward. And then exhale, slowly lower. This time we're gonna see if we can come into our boat pose. So reach the arms forward, use the core to rock yourself up all the way into your boat pose. You got it. Extend the legs if you can. And then exhale, bend at the knees again, cross the feet, and we'll come up onto the knees. Good. Relax the arms by your sides. Maybe come towards the middle of your mat. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, pinkies reach behind you as you lead with the chin forward. Four more like this, breath in, reach up. Exhale, lift up, everything lifts. Exhale, two more. And then the hands come to, imagine you're putting them into your back pocket. So hands to your low back, draw the elbows together and you're gonna lift through the chin and the chest, slight back bend here. Just getting the hips to move a little bit forward as you lift up and over. 
and then chin comes back down. I'll give an opportunity for the little toe stretch. So if you wanna tuck your toes under and then drop the hips towards your heels just for a few breaths to stretch out the toes. Those toes are so important uh, to grip the ground, to keep us stable. And then come on off of that. We'll shift our weight over towards the right and then over towards the left. So just getting the hips to move side to side. So right there, what we were doing when we were reaching the arms back, coming forward, that was improving our center of gravity. So if you think about the center of your body being the stable position, you always want to keep a good amount of base and support underneath you. So let's shift our weight over towards the right knee and we're going to bring our left foot up in front of us and then inch those toes forward a little bit as you start to reach your right hip point forward coming into your supported lunge. Hands can be at that left thigh or you can reach the arms all the way up. Relax the shoulders, maybe wiggle the fingers a bit. Just reaching up, stretching up, noticing the right hip stretching. That back toe can be untucked. And then reaching the hands down through heart center. Take a breath in and out. And then we're gonna tuck the back toes under and then lift the back knee off. So coming into our full lunge now, and then hands can come by your sides or reach the arms all the way up. And here, if you're feeling a little bit wobbly, bring that right leg out towards the right a little bit more. Widen this base right here. And then inhale, reach the arms up for two more breaths. And then inhale here to lift up a little bit higher. Exhale, you're gonna bring the arms behind you as you lift the chin forward. Two more like this. Inhale, everything lifts up. Exhale, pinky fingers reach towards the back behind you. Inhale to lift. Exhale. This time, inhale, lift, bring the arms forward this time. So you're reaching forward and you're gonna slowly bring that right foot to meet the left coming into your chair pose, wide-legged chair. So if it took you a couple hops to get here, that's okay. Now bring the shoulders so they're an extension out from your body, relax your hips down, check out your toes, make sure you can still see the toes. Maybe lift up the toes, sink a little bit deeper, and then inhale, reach the arms up, Breath in here, exhale, sink a little bit deeper. One more breath in, sink a little bit deeper, and then fold your body over the thighs as you slowly start to extend the legs. Forward fold. Shake the head yes, shake it no. Let gravity pull your upper body down, allowing for a nice stretch in your hamstrings. Arms can be to whatever position they want, maybe ragdoll, grabbing opposite elbows. And then we'll inhale to a flat back. Exhale, fold. And then bend the knees, reach up, rise up, all the way up, stretch up. Hands come down to heart center, and we're gonna make it to our other side. So take a look down at your feet. Plant that right foot down. Take a big step back with the left foot, and then slowly dropping that left knee all the way down, untucking the toe. Inhale to lift the arms up. Exhale to relax the shoulders, hinging a little bit forward, stretching that front left thigh. Right knee is over right ankle, face is soft. No 
notice how you feel here. And then we'll tuck the left toes underneath and coming up into our full lunge here, feeling free to widen the legs if that gives you more stability. Breath in to reach up. Exhale, chin leads forward as arms come behind you. Inhale, lift. Exhale. One more breath in. Exhale. And then reach the arms forward. Stretch them really nice and long. Feel your body moving forward. Strengthen that front leg so you can bring the left leg all the way up. Sink the hips down, lift the heart up, chair pose. Three breaths, you can do it. Lower body strength to keep you balanced. One more breath in, exhale. Slowly melting all the way down, forward fold. Wag the tail, shake it out, let it go. And then let the arms be really heavy. And we're gonna just gently start to roll up the spine. So the hips, the low back, the mid back, the neck, the chin is the last thing to lift all the way up. Release your arms by your sides, palms facing forward, mountain pose. With your eyes closed, can you feel where your body is in space? Can you feel all 10 toes or however many toes you have planted into the mat? Can you feel your heels, ball mounds of the foot? And then with the eyes closed or a gentle gaze forward, can you start a subtle sway forward and back? If you want to gaze down at the feet for a moment and look at all the work that your foot and ankle is doing for you. So just the subtle movement recruits so many muscles that surround the ankle, overlap on the ankle to keep you up. And then if you go a little bit further, maybe notice how when you lean forward, maybe the hips go back. As you lean back, maybe the hips go forward. So notice how the hip moves to stabilize yourself. So maybe just trying that for a moment. Shift the hips back as you lean forward. Shift the hips forward as you lean back. Maybe notice what the arms do to help you. So just a little bit of freedom of movement. And then try side to side. So you can start slow with just this little ankle movement. And then maybe the hips go side to side. Just notice how your body reacts to this movement. So it's always trying to correct and realign yourself so that your center of gravity is well supported by the space of support. And then we'll come back up to center, stand by a wall if you'd like to, or let's place both hands to the hips. Hips can be, I mean, feet can be about hip distance apart or shoulder distance. Shift the weight in towards the right leg as you lift the left knee up. So the knee is just an extension out from the hip. It's not too high or too low. Flex the toes of that left foot. And then just stand nice and tall here. Notice what's going on in that right long leg. Can you feel a little bit of twitching, a little movement? Can you strengthen through the glute? Another breath in and then slowly lower to the, and we'll take the other side. Right leg lifts up. Soften the shoulders, soften the gaze, flex the toes, breath in and out. Three more breaths. 
you fall out, don't worry, just come back in. That's you training your body, training your muscles to react. So I say falling out is a good thing. It shows you what work you're capable of, of building, what strength you're capable of achieving, and then release the leg down. So we'll take it one step per further coming into our tree pose now. So you can either place just the ankle to ankle, foot to calf, or bring that foot all the way up into the thigh. So again, using the wall, no shame in that. Sometimes our balance is better on other days. On other, so who cares? <laughs> so let's place both of our hands into our palm, into palm center, heart center. Relax the shoulders down, and then you can gaze at something that's not moving. Or as a little extra challenge, maybe you lift the arms out towards the sides to grow the branches of your tree. And this might give you a little bit more of instability, or maybe see if you can sway the branches of the tree and notice what your ankle, notice what your hip does to combat that movement. So see if you can sway a little bit, just move a little bit. Notice how your body reacts. Just try for one more breath. And then hands into heart center. Find your center, find your stability. Hug in the core, relax the shoulders. And then release that foot down. Coming on to the other side. Foot to ankle, to calf or all the way up. And again, just start here with palms together, heart center. Opening up that hip, so really trying to pull it out towards the side. Closing the eyes takes away the visual field, so that adds a little bit of challenge. Or you can challenge yourself further with finding a little bit of upper body movement. See if your lower body can react, correct, and make you a little bit more stable. Just doing this for a few more breaths. And then hands back into heart center, settle in, breath in and out, breath in and out and then release down, hands by your sides, close the eyes, just notice how strong you are right now. And if you don't believe that you're strong, tell yourself, I am strong, I am stable, I am balanced. And then meet me at the top of your mat. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, slowly melt the fingers, melt the upper body all the way down. And we'll come onto the mat and coming into a seated position. Placing your hands on your lap. Noticing how your low body feels. Notice how your upper body feels. And then we'll spend a little bit more time finding some elongation and some stretching for the low body. So you just built a lot of heat, a lot of strength in the low body. So let's release that and reduce any tension that's caused. So bringing the soles of the feet together coming into our seated butterfly. Hands onto the shins, elbows, forearms, into the inner thighs. Grow tall with the spine. And then exhale, slowly hinging, finding the release in the outer portion of the legs. The further you have your feet away, the more you're gonna feel on the outside and the closer you have your feet in, the more you'll feel it on the inside. So maybe play around with the foot positioning. And then if your hands are capable, bring your thumbs to the sole of the foot 
and maybe just giving yourself a gentle massage to the sole of the foot or maybe even just a gentle squeeze just acknowledging all the hard work that our feet and our ankles do without us even realizing. So just sending that good energy throughout the body, and really just improving our awareness and acknowledgement for each part of our bodies. And then sitting up nice and tall, we'll start to extend the legs forward Slight bend in the knee is always okay. Inhale to reach the arms up. And then exhale, slowly starting to forward fold over the legs, allowing the head to surrender. If you want to challenge yourself to go a little bit deeper, maybe see on the next inhale if you create a flat back. Guide yourself forward and then exhale, melt a little bit more. Take three more breaths. And then lifting back up, let's bring the right leg up and over that left leg. Hands to the thighs, sitting up nice and tall. And then you can take your left hand to kind of hook that right thigh and bring the right arm up and around for a nice spinal twist. Lifting right hand up and around, bring the sole of that right foot to the inner portion of the left thigh. Inhale to lift the arms up. Exhale, hover over that left leg and then forward fold here. So a few things happening in this pose. You're feeling the left hamstring stretch, but also the more you push that right knee towards the earth, you're feeling the outer right hip stretch. So I encourage you to, to feel both, keep both hips planted. Keep your breath stable. And just notice. Really good stretches if you plan on going for a little walk later or maybe you're a runner you're going to feel so much looser so much better take one more breath in side out <sighs> glide yourself back up extend the right bend the left left foot up and over hug the left thigh in with the right hand Lifting that left arm up and around, spinal twist here. Good. One more breath in, sit up tall. Exhale to twist. And then lift that left hand up and around, left foot comes to right inner thigh, arms lift up and then exhale, folding over, surrounding that right long leg. So feel that outer hip, low back stretch on the left, the hamstring, the calf, the foot stretch on the right. And 
and slowly lifting all the way back up. Reach the arms up. Hands come down to heart center. Find a cross-legged position. Hands onto the knees. Close your eyes. Just settle down into this position right now without worrying about the next pose or the next adventure of your day or any previous events. Just sit here for yourself. We just created a whole lot of physical strength but now for our last portion of the class to build some mental strength, to release anything that's not serving you. Giving yourself time to feel better in your mind, your body, and your soul. So any negative self-talk, any frustrations that you've had, Let's allow this to be an opportunity to find balance and to release all that is not needed. So take a breath in through the nose. Sigh it out through the mouth. <sighs> Inhale, I am. Exhale, strong. Inhale, I am. Exhale, balanced. Inhale, I am. Exhale, happy. Inhale, I am. Exhale, strong. Inhale, I am. Exhale, balanced. Inhale, I am. Exhale, happy. Place one hand on your belly, one to your heart. Take a slow breath through the nose. Slow breath out through the mouth. Breath in and out. And then we can reach our arms up towards the sky. Maybe allow the mouth to come up into a smile. You did it. Palms come together. Thumbs come to our third eye chakra, connecting mind to body, creating this balance. Thumbs come to our heart chakra, connecting to one another's hearts, sending out so much love to all of you. We can bow to one another to share our gratitude for one another. Namaste.